Guys, it is almost, well, it's not almost February, but it's time to get ready for February, right? So our holiday for February is Valentine's. And so our project today is gonna to be a Valentine's project. Who has some of the brand new stencils that have been released um, in January? Let me know in the comments which you've got. Does anyone have the Valentine's stencils already? Let me show you some of them. I have to pull up the, um, this is the two pack. So this is what we're gonna be using today. I do have a list in the description of the live of what we'll be using today. This is the Valentine's large tag set. Now, you know, we've got the little wooden mini tag sets. This is the large. I don't think Essential Stencil has come out with these large ones before. It's a new thing. As far as I can tell, I haven't had them before. So, um, oh, Tracy's got hers ordered. She's ready to get hers tomorrow. Oh, someone's got six to eight inches of snow. That's crazy that I never get snow here. So I wouldn't know what that's like. Okay, so in this large tag set, look how large the tags are. Aren't they cute? Happy Valentine's is what it says. So we've got Happy and Valentine's. That comes in a two piece set. Now the link for that is up in the description of the live and Essential Stencil will also put that pin it in a comment here soon. So that's the one that I'm going to be working um, on today. But did you know that this uh, tag set, so while you're getting the Valentine's one, the big large tag set also comes with, uh, for us in a special St. Patrick's Day collection, which is only the very next month. So that's in March. So if you're doing decor for all of the seasons, make sure you get this one as well. It's the St. Patrick's Day one. It's got charm and lucky, lucky charm. So, and it also has the little uh, hole area up here so that you can cut that out. So I'm gonna show you how to cut out the little hole on a card stock today. I have already cut out some cardboard. As I was saying before, if you've just joined me, we're moving house. So I grabbed a moving box um, and I've cut it up for today's project because things are getting packed away, you guys. And I'm like, no, I needed that. I needed that thing. So anyone else, we've got like about three weeks to, to move. So. All right, here's another Valentine's thing that would look great on some of these. So if you make these tags uh, today, you could also add a little XOXO to something like that if you cut out those card stock. Now this is, it's not exactly a front porch, but it's a three foot. It's made for like a three foot sign. So you put the XOXO down on a board like this, but you could also put it across like so. You could even just, Sorry, it's got both sides, XO, XO. So you, uh, that's a two piece set. It's made for a three foot board. So it's not quite the large, uh, whatever they are, five foot or six foot board signs. Or there's, you know, there's four foot ones, five foot ones. Uh, so that's that, just thought I'd show you that. And of course the other Valentine's uh, set we've got is the I Love Us set, which has some cute, I think that, is that one's out of stock or that one's low in stock? So grab that one. It's got the cutest little jar filled with hearts. And you could just use the outside jar for other things. You know, you could stencil using that jar for other things as well and um, tape off the hearts on the inside. So those are some fun ideas with the Valentine's themed sets and the St. Patrick's Day. Those, remember those two sets that are huge swinging tags. Now you can use these for front door hanger so that's the idea I thought of today. Now you could use for this project large uh, actual plywood boards if you want to. If you've got a little uh, saw that you can cut them out with, you know you would trace around this actual thing. Now you could also use the cardstock or something similar to this cardstock that comes in the stencil sets. Although once it's used, you can't use more. That you just have to find your own cardboard. But that's an idea. So you can just actually literally cut those corners, uh, trace around the little hole in here and cut that out. So what I have done is I've used the cardboard that I, from a moving box and literally cut out the cardboard. And we're gonna be painting that today and making these fun Valentine's door hangers. So if you've just joined me, that is what we're doing today. So for the first part, I wanted to show you um, just a little tip. You see, I've painted this one already in this kind of dark red color that's called Merlot. I'm using a chalk paint today with um, 
It's artisan chalk finish and it's uh, an Australian brand. So I've painted that one red and I've painted one side of this, but you can paint both sides, you know, and uh, have a double-sided hanger. So I could have the Happy Valentines on one side and then I could paint the, um, the Lucky Charms on the other for St. Patrick's Day and just flip around and change out the ribbon and that kind of thing. So here is a project, but I thought I'd show you how I cut out this part here. Let's go just down to the camera. Thank you so much for sprinkling and uh, sharing our live today. You just hit that little button and or tag a friend who you know might appreciate seeing a live demo of how to do um, stenciling. So I always give you lots of great stenciling tips. Now remember I've cut this out from a board. All I did was I used my cardboard, pretty self-explanatory. I won't bring the whole board up, it's going to be too huge. But I just literally put this on top of a piece of cardboard, traced around the outside and traced that hole. Okay, so you wanna trace that hole because that's what's going to be hanging our uh, door hanger or decor. It doesn't have to be for your door, it could be for your wall. So what I did was I've cut this one out, but see how nice and round that is? All I used was a very sharp Stanley knife. I've got a supply list up above on the uh, description of the live with all of the things that you need for this project. Thank you guys so much. I love that you're sprinkling. Um, so to get that nice and round, here's what you do. So here's my hole that I've traced and you'll see, sorry about the splatter, that was when I was painting on this side, there was paint on the, um, on the table where I was using it. I'm going to get another piece of card right here just to put underneath because when I'm cutting with the Stanley knife I don't want that to go through onto my table so you could use uh, there's actual plastic um, mats that you can use to um, you know stop the knife being, knife cutting mats I think they're called uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going from the outside of the circle and I'm pushing my Stanley knife down and into the center and just going around like that. I've actually pre-cut these and you can probably see that, but I just wanted to show you how to cut a nice round circle. I'm just going from the outside into the center all the way around. How you cut out a nice neat hole. If you've just joined us, we're doing some Valentine's decor today. Is anyone else organized? Do you uh, decorate for every season? Where are you guys all at with that? So once I've, I've uh, see how the, I've done the lines, I've kind of cut in from, in right into the center. Now I can pretty much poke that through like so. So I can see the hole there. Now I'm just going to go with the Stanley knife and make it a lot neater, making sure you can see. Oops, pull it back this way. I'm going back to front on my camera. So then I go round here with the knife. You could just do it. This one's a very sharp knife, so I'm just jiggling it up and down. But having those little bits of card already cut to the center just makes it a little bit easier. Jiggling it up and down, oops. just pop out quite easily if you've got a very sharp knife. Now I'm using a cardboard to back but you could also use one of those plastic mats. There we go. Essential Stencil has popped up the um, links for you so you can grab a hold of these. Now don't forget if you use my code I restore stuff or any of the links on the live. If you just use my links that are posted right here on this live you don't need to actually type that into the coupon code. It will automatically take 10% off for you at the checkout. So Essential Stencil has posted my link there for the door tags and along with the new arrivals, you'll get to see all of the new arrivals. And um, place your order. So nearly finished this. I feel like I'm going through both sets of cardboard actually. But if you just do it really gradually, then the hole becomes Nice and neat. 
So today someone's asking what paint I'm using. I'm using an Australian brand of just furniture paint, chalk paint. So you can use any acrylic based paint. Craft paint would even do for these because you're just using cardboard. Okay, packing our knife away safe. So now I've got a nice, pretty smooth round hole in there um, that we're gonna hang a ribbon from anyway. So, so I've got those both cut out and here we go for our beautiful Happy Valentine's um, whoops, stenciled hangers. <clears throat> I've got my glue gun here because in a minute I probably will need it. I'll try and remember to turn that on at the right time. So thinking about door hanger, we want them sort of both facing the same way. So we're going to have a little bit of a thing like this perhaps, or <clears throat> I haven't even tried this out before. We do a happy and where's our Valentine's? And remember I did mention before, if you've just joined us, we've got these large uh, hangers or tags, they're called, um, also in the St. Patrick's Day design. So the St. Patrick's Day, it's if you just look up large tag set, you'll see both of these come up in the search of Essential Stencils website. <clears throat> so if I do do it that way, we'll still see that it's Valentine's, won't we? If I kind of do like that, um, if you hang them together. So that's kind of the idea of it. Let's see what happens if we put happy behind. I feel like happy needs to be at the front, but you could also glue it so that it sticks out even more. We could even pop Valentine's down a little bit, um, but you can kind of get the idea. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's just give it a go. Let's give it a try. We're going to use a white paint on red because I've done that red. So what I was suggesting is you can paint the reverse side of this and then do your St. Patrick's Day one also. So I'm just using a white paint, chalk paint. <clears throat> Denise says at the front. You think the happy needs to be at the front? I think it does. I'm using essential stencils brushes. Now the link for these is also in the description of the live. Your little stencil brushes, they come in a few different sizes. And what I didn't do is grab some offloading Paper. So I'll just use a bit of cardboard that I used to cut out my tags with because I want to offload all the paint. If you've watched any of our lives, most of us ambassadors will tell you or remind you to offload your paint. So I'm just putting a little bit on there. I don't really need a lot because... Um, and if you wanted to, you could put some painter's tape just to tape around those edges there to hold it still. Today I'm just going to use my hands to hold it still. We'll use a sort of a medium kind of a brush, just uh, dipping it in here to the paint. Can offload that a little bit on the, it's not a paper plate, it's a plastic one. So what I'll do is I'll just offload that on the brush. I kind of do a little bit of a swirl. It's all in the bristles then, holding down this quite still. Do a little swirling motion there. Now the reason I can swirl and it not and the paint not bleed under is because we've offloaded a lot of that paint off the brush onto the cardboard. Oh look at that white on red kind of makes it pinkish colour, doesn't it? So quite possibly. I don't know, it's still white on here. I was just thinking it probably my red may not have been dry enough. <laughs> always do a couple of coats it's a lot easier to do two thin coats rather than two thick coats I can still sort of see that see-through on here so just adding a little bit at a time well, Dahlia's got a great idea she said she would like a happy birthday in this size there's a good hint for essential stencil happy birthday would be fun in that size imagine these cardboard things just for parties so say you're having a Valentine's party of some kind. That would be cute decor. Or a St. Patrick's Day party where there's lots of green food. <laughs> I'm imagining. <clears throat> um, Debbie's asking, do I always swirl when I stencil? I do a lot. That's one of my favourite methods. What is that Debbie asking? So my favourite methods is to swirl. Um, I did try doing the stippling like this. 
and I just find that it takes a little bit more energy. So right now, is, as you can see, I've uh, done a little bit of stippling on there, but if I swirl, it seems to cover, get a lot more coverage. But remember that the key to the swirling technique is to have very, very little, it's almost a dry brush. Like I can stipple on my hand and there's nothing there. But if I go to the heart, you'll see it will still have paint on the brush. It's still, sort of just running out at the end here. You can see that. So just dabbing a little bit more. Offloading or swirling onto the cardboard. Holding my left hand down and swirling with my right, depending on if you're left or right-handed. <clears throat> Kim says swirling would be better on her joints. Yeah, it probably could be. Test out all the different methods. And um, if you're someone who does have some joint issues, that can be um, a real pain point for you because you're trying to find the best way that you can stencil. So try all these different ways. So the other type of methods there are, and some of, you'll see some of the ambassadors using different methods. So there's that stippling method going like this. It might take a little bit longer. And when you are swirling, just relax your hand a bit. You don't have to push too much. You could if you wanted to, and you may get it done a little bit quicker or easier, but the key is just to relax your hand as you swirl. And uh, one of the other methods that I have seen is also by using one of the makeup wedges. So those little foam makeup sponges, you can dip that in and do it that way. There's a few different ways of trying stenciling. So just um, everyone's got a personal preference. And I always recommend starting out on just not your precious sign boards that you've spent hours creating for. Just use an ordinary blank piece of cardboard or paper and practice your swirling, practice your stippling, practice the method that you would like. So the other thing I don't usually do is go back and forth only because um, it could have a little bit too much on the brush and I tend to find that swirling just gives it a little bit more even coverage all the way around. Just about use up my paint. That I dobbed, dabbed on the, on the paper. No, plastic plate. I can see some pinkish areas there, so it probably does need a bit more coverage in those little spots. So I'll go back over those. This heart needed a bit more. This one needed a bit more. And this H. Let's see if I can just grab that last bit of paint, swirl it all here, just touch up some. areas. So see if you're just using card stock or cardboard, this is from a quite a thick cardboard box. I did need the Stanley knife if you've just joined me. Um, I used a Stanley knife to cut this out. I'm just going to grab a wet cloth to wrap that in in case we want to use that colour later. And let's have a look at that. So we've got our happy right there. I should be doing this upside down for you all. So that you can see it the right way up. So see how we haven't got any bleeding or fuzzy edges because we've really offloaded most of that paint that's on the brush right here. And it's not wasting a lot. I only dip the very, very tips of my brush into the um, into the paint. So I'm not using a whole bunch. Now the key is to wipe that down as soon as you can to get your paint off there. But because we're on the live, I tend to just leave that for later on. Okay, here's our second one. We've got our hole lined up here. I do want to push this Valentine's a little bit uh, because what I want to do is have this kind of hanging this way so we can still see that it's Valentine. You can find your own way of hanging this. Um, I'm going to move it as much as I can down and across, even though it looks like it's not lined up with the board properly, just so that it fits a little bit more with how I'm going to lay out that okay so on to a second plate here and our other color i'm using it's not a bright red this is called merlot and it's the color that i've done this board with let me just move this back a little bit and see if we can see it in view don't forget guys there's prizes 
Prizes, prizes, three, three giveaways at the end of our live today. Um, Essential Stencil loves to give away fun things. All right, so this is, oh, have that on there. And if you're ordering today, use the links that are right there in the comments or in the description of the live and um, you get 10% off using my code, I restore stuff anytime you order from Essential Stencil. If you were watching last week, was it last week I made the January Stencil of the Month stencil? And um, you can join the Stencil of the Month Club for 50% off using my code also and receive stencils every month. Okay, so I've moved it down a little bit just so when I place this here, we're seeing a little bit more of the word Valentine. Yes, Kim says, we love prizes. Of course you do. <laughs> And if you're watching the replay, comment the word replay after the live and then 24 hours after the live, they'll choose another winner. So that's always fun too. There's always a second chance, guys. Okay, I'm just using the 5 8 inch brush. Have I got that up the right way now? Yeah, I think I do. Holding it still with my hand. It's probably gonna look a little more pink than red because we're doing it over white and I think I'm just going to do the one coat. And that's fine with me. If you wanted to do another second coat, you just wait for it to dry, then place your stencil back exactly where you can see it. It'll all, it will all line up because you've done a good job of stenciling the first time. See, that one's looking a little bit more pink than the red on here. This red is a little bit more translucent. I'm just using a chalk paint if you're... Um, if you just joined me. Oh, who was that? Just hang on, I just missed a comment. Margie, she said, I'm a beginner at stenciling, so I really appreci appreciate this video instruction. So great, Margie. Margie or Margie? Not sure if I pronounced your name right, but welcome to our stenciling tutorial. And I hope you can have a lot of fun stenciling with st essential stencil stencils. They really are great quality. Mylar, which is the plastic material they're made from, last a long time if you look after them. Um, some stencil sets are quite thin and you'll get those little pieces that end up flipping or breaking, but the essential stencil uh, stencils are really excellent quality, so I love using them. Oops. This is the Valentine Large Tag Set, I think it's called. Oop. Sorry, just trying to see comments at the same time, answer any questions. Um, yes, I'm making these signs from cardboard. If you missed the beginning of the live, these are just from a cardboard box. See this? I just, we're moving house and I found a moving box. Well, hopefully we weren't gonna use that for anything too special. We've got plenty around here at the moment. And so um, things are being packed away, guys, in boxes. And every now and then I'm like, no, <clears throat> where's that item gone? I need that. But I can tell you right now, my workshop is going to be one of the very last things uh, to pack up because I need to be crafting every day for what I do. If you, <clears throat> if you haven't already, you can go and subscribe to my blog over at irestorestuff.com. And join me there for lots of tutorials. I do a lot of furniture painting, DIY, upcycling, um, thrift store decor, things like that. You can also find me on YouTube at iRestoreStuff on YouTube. So you'll find all of those links at my blog, iRestoreStuff.com. You can join me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, all of those things. If you need some more inspiration for your DIY craft activities. Thank you so much for sprinkling the love. I did um, pop this in at the beginning. If you just hit that little button and you can let others know that we're live here today doing a tutorial. So if you've just joined us, these are Essential Stencils Valentine's Large Tag Set door tag it's called but you don't have to just use them for for door hangers you could use them for other things 
Hang them from the ceiling. Hang them from a chandelier. Let's have a Valentine's party and hang them up for something fun. All right, so here is oops, our next one. And I've kind of moved that down because what I want to do, there we go, a Valentine's sign. <clears throat> because I want to go happy on here. And our, I'm trying to get our holes to line up. So we're not going to actually see all the word Valentine on that unless it swings in the breeze or something. So what I've got here is just a little bit of ribbon, some fun ribbon to use. Now you can use this on all sorts of decor. Now, if you've just joined me, I did mention that you could turn these over, paint the back sides, because Essential Stencil also has St. Patrick's Day large tag sets. So maybe when it gets a little closer to March, I could do that on the back side of these. That would be fun. And then you can just flip it over and use it for the next season. So here's our ribbon. We're going to tie these together. <clears throat> I think one of someone else has just done one of these recently and they, uh, when you're hanging it, it's just going to fall together. So we're going to use, that reminds me, I'll turn on my hot glue gun. <laughs> Who is that? That's hilarious. Erin says, hi, my name is Erin and I'm addicted to essential stencil. <laughs> so funny. It can be quite addictive, crafty things. Am I right? So if you want, you can make the ribbon, tie it for hanging on your door, or you could tie this to make it into a, just a decorative ribbon. <clears throat> and then add some string to tie it to the door. So I'm just gonna snip that off. Oops, let's go this way. Same with this one. It's a bit of a tidy up on the end. Uh, this way. And while my hot glue gun's um, warming up, heating up there, let me see if I can actually make a bow that looks decent. Oh, there's probably all sorts of great bow experts out there. Let's see how I go. So I've just tied it in a knot. This is one of those ribbons that's got the wire to make it shapely. <clears throat> I should have made one longer than the other, but I didn't. Or I could have cut it off later. However, let's see how we go. I am so not a, a ribbon expert. Tighten this one. You kind of need one longer than the other that you're going to wrap around there, don't you? So then we just have to, it's a matter of kind of getting it into shape. Open this one up. I like the color of this ribbon. Now, don't ask me where I got the ribbon from <laughs> because I'm in Australia, so it wouldn't have been in the USA if you're over there. Um, but it's very old. I've had it sitting in my cupboard. You know, who else just has a cupboard full of craft supplies that they, there we go, that they like to use? Okay, so there it is. Now, let me show you. So when I'm hanging this, let me just pop it up here. You can see my face. Hey, everybody. So <clears throat> if I'm hanging that, it's just going to hang together. So what we need to do is get our hot glue gun and just separate that slightly so that when I hang it from the door, it's going to sit a little bit more like it says Happy Valentine's. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's see if our hot glue gun is ready. <clears throat> Um, and now, if you were really doing what I suggested before and adding this to the back for St. Patrick's Day, you would obviously have to do that before we stick all our Valentine's sign together. However, I'm just going to, for today's purposes, <laughs> let's see if this is ready. Mmm, still not warm enough. Nearly. Let me see if we've got any more questions. Oh, Sheila's got her essential stencil order today. Can't wait to use them. Kathy says, yes, addictive for sure. Okay, so let's say, oh, there we go. It's coming, guys. A little hot glue gun. So I'm just tack, tacking the back. Still not quite hot enough. This is why you should turn your hot glue gun on before you're going to do a craft. Anyway, so you get the idea. It's going to, it's going to be working in just a second now. 
so that, let's be creative. I'll use my hot glue gun in a minute as a temporary measure to show you how this is going to work. <clears throat> yes, who would have thought to stencil on cardboard for door tags? So here's my tacking it together just so we can see if that will hold. Then I'm going to use some, just some string. Now you could use some, this is a jute twine or even just some regular string to then just tie this together and you could use it, go through the holes or I'm just gonna poke it through the ribbon that I've now tied so tightly I can't get my string through. There we go. So this is just now going to go on the door together. Never too many stencils. Exactly. That's what I say. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. She says, just go with it. Your bow will be just fine. Yep, of course it will. We just shape it out like that. It'll look just gorgeous. Okay, so you can hang, uh, hang that, uh, tuck that knot just back down in here. And I can smell that hot glue gun. It's actually, yep, it's dripping. So that's a good sign. Take out my well, let's just leave it there. And popping a bit of hot glue right beside that. Popping it in place. So remember we've got the Valentine's stencils. You get your 10% off using the code iRestoreStuff. Let me pop that back up here so you can see it hanging. And you can imagine that either hanging from a door. So here's my little string that I've got to hang it from the door. Um, and don't forget to do, if you wanted to do the St. Patrick's Day one at the same time, grab that one in the shop while you're getting your Valentine's one. 10% off using code iRestoreStuff. That is the, it's actually called St. Patrick's Day Large Tag Set, but it says Lucky Charm on that one, Lucky Charm. And you can use that for the back. Now this is just plain cardboard box. Use your really thick cardboard. I used a HelloFresh. See, can you see the logo? HelloFresh is the food place that you know delivers your food for meals for the week. We've got our Happy Valentines glued together with a little bit of hot glue so it separates as, as it's being hung from the door. And then you can have your other one on the other side of that for St. Patrick's Day. And then let's flip it around for the other season. So is there any other questions? You've got that glue gun too, Tammy. Yes, we love the Ryobi One series in Australia too. <laughs> got a lot of those ones. They did turn out super cute. I'm really happy with that. We can decorate now. And so, you know, I just use ordinary chalk paint, like you could use a craft paint to just paint on those and then stencil them. I'll just show you really close up of the stenciling. So uh, if you wanted to watch the replay to get good tips on how to get that nice crisp lines with your stenciling. Um, and there's the word Valentine. And I could have done another coat on that red to make it look a little less pink, but I think it looks cute just like that. No one's gonna, sometimes I think we're a little too critical about our craft and really no one's gonna come up close and go, hmm, I think that she's a little bit off there or I think that, you know, that should have been this or that. It just look at that. From a distance, you're going, wow, stunning decor. And who would have known? It's just cardboard boxes, guys. How's that? So that is this week's live. Now we've got some prizes, prizes to pick. Essential stencil, go for it. Let me see if we've got any prize winners yet. Okay, so prize winning time. Don't forget that, um, stay watching any minute now, any second now, Essential Stencil is gonna pull some prizes out of the comments right here. And there's gonna be three lucky winners. Also, if you don't win today, here they are. If you don't win today, catch the replay and comment replay within the next 24 hours will be able to um, get you a prize too. You could be a winner. So we've got our winners today, Jennifer Nostrand, Margie Rose, and Kathy Shepherd. Congratulations. You three can just email support at Essential Stencil. There's a comment pinned right there of what you need to do with your details so that you can claim your prize. Jennifer, Margie, and Kathy, congratulations. I'm Sharon from the blog, I Restore Stuff. Go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, go check out my blog at irestorestuff.com. Oh, I just saw someone from Western Australia. Thank you so much for watching, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Um, my fellow Aussie people. 
And um, congratulations to those winners. I will see you again next week for another live DIY project. So thank you and good evening.